TV. Subject. Plus. Verb in past tense. Plus. Object. We ate some lovely pizzas last night. Conjugating the past simple affirmative. I wash the car. You wash the car. He wash the car. She wash the car. We wash the car. They wash the car. How do we form the past simple? Negative. Subject. Plus. 
head plus not plus verb plus object gym did not finish his homework Conjugating the past simple. Negative. I did not wash the car. You did not wash the car. He did not wash the car. She did not wash the car. We did not wash the car. They did not wash the car. We can contract the negative form of the auxiliary verb, do, in the past. I did not. I didn't. You did not. You didn't. He did not. She did not. He didn't. She didn't. We did not. We didn't. They did not. They didn't. How do we form the past simple? Interrogative. Did. Plus. Subject. Plus. Verb. Plus. Object. Did. You listen to music last night. Conjugating the past simple interrogative. Did I wash the car? Did you wash the car? Did he wash the car? Did she wash the car? Did we wash the car? Did they wash the car? Go English. Do. Okay, good evening. Good evening, guys. How are you today? Good evening. I'm fine. Thanks, Miguel Angel. Good evening, Jorge. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, great. Cool. What about you, Fabrizio? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Okay, how was your coffee? <laughs> yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, William, how are you today? Excellent, teacher. Nice. What about you, Marlon? How are you? Very good, teacher. Very good. Okay, nice. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, Tatiana, good evening. How are you today? Okay. I think Tatiana is, you know, buying pupusas or something like, right? <laughs> okay, nice, cool. Uh, we're gonna start with today's class. Uh, some of you uh, did a video right at the beginning of the class. Uh, the video was related to the past tense. It was nice. 
if we're gonna have time at the end of the class, we're gonna uh, reply again. Hey, uh, good evening, Tatiana. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Fine. Nice. Cool. Me equivoqué. Me desactivé la, la el arroz. Desactivé el video. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. Okay, we're gonna start with today's class. Uh, thanks for being here, right? Uh, it's a pleasure to see you today. Okay, nice. Um, let me see. Let me, let me, let me. Yeah. Okay, uh, we're gonna continue with unit number three. Uh, today and tomorrow, we're gonna finish with this unit, right? And we're gonna start right now. We're gonna see the simple past information question, right? Today, we're gonna see question form of the verb be and the past simple did auxiliary, right? Okay, uh, let's get started with today's class. And I need somebody who able to read the specific objective for today's class. Who wants to do it? Who wants to practice? The more you practice, the more you learn, right? Keep in mind hey, that. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Lesson audit, objective, yeah. specific. Participant yeah. will, will to be able to ask customer details about a problem they have to provide a solution. Okay, okay, thank you Fabricio, really good job. Okay, right now we're gonna go to the class objective. Uh, can you help me to read it, uh, Miguel? Okay, uh, the class objective, verdad? Yeah, sure. Okay, at the end of the class, participant will be able to know how how to use interrogative simple pass with it. Okay, really nice work, Miguel. Cool, I like it. Okay, guys, uh, as I see, you are improving your pronunciation. You see, uh, the more you practice, the more you learn. Es no tener miedo. Si no tenemos miedo, vamos a pronunciar bien todas las palabras y las que no. I'm going to be here for you, right? And I'm going to tell you, you have to say like this. Okay, really good. Uh, let me see. Yeah, sure. Uh, the past tense. Basically, we were talking about the past tense. En el pasado, eh, simple, tenemos varios puntos importantes. ¿Cuál estaba acá? ¿Cuál se recuerdan ustedes? Uh -huh. The past tense. Was where? Was where, really good. Thank you, Jorge. Really good. What's where? The verb be in the past tense. What else? ¿Qué otro tema? Auxiliary do. Okay, auxiliary do. Really good. Okay, thank you, Fabricio. Somebody else? But this one. Ah, regular verbs. Yeah, thank you, Tatiana. These regular verbs son los que le agregamos ed, right, at the end. Okay, and what about this one? Regular verbs. Regular verbs. Yeah, really good. Estos son los que cambian su forma totalmente. Okay, eh, nice. Vimos este, este, this one, and this one. And right now we uh, saw already the negative way. Ya vimos la forma negativa. And now we're going to see the question forms, right? We're going to learn how to ask questions with this, with verb B, with uh, auxiliary did using regular verbs and irregular verbs, right? Okay, ready? Yeah, sure, you were ready. <laughs> Nacimos listo, right? Okay, good. Here we go. Uh, we're going to start with some useful words during this class. We get a useful words. And we got uh, some of them. We're gonna start with this. Uh, Jorge, can you help me with this? A set. Okay. Mm. He accepted. Yeah, really good, accepted. Yeah, congratulations, amazing. Okay, Jorge, <clears throat> in this case, uh, como era T, terminaba en T, decíamos accepted. 
Como usted lo dijo. Muy bien. Thank you. Accept, accept it. Okay, what does it mean, Jorge, this one? Aceptar. Aceptar, really good, aceptar. Okay, uh, we're gonna continue with this. Uh, Tatiana, help me with this one. Uh, act. Yep. Act it. Yeah, sure, really good. What does it mean? No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Is the action that the actors do? The action that the actors do in a movie. Uh -huh. What does it mean? Este significa actuar. Actuar. Actuar, actué. Muy bien. Yes, really good. Thank you, Tatiana. Good. Uh, right now, I'm going to go with Marlon. Help me, Marlon, with this one. At? Yep. Add it. Add it. Yes, really, really good. Thank you, Marlon. What does it mean, had? No idea? No idea, teacher. <laughs> okay, add a Merlon imagine that I got a cup of uh, a cup of coffee right like this and I add sugar add sugar to my coffee. Well, agregar. Yeah, sure. Wow, okay. Okay. okay, agregar. This one? Agregué. Agregué, really good. Add it. Estas van a tener una pronunciación id, accepted, active. Added, porque terminan en T y en D. Recuerden eso. Estos son los más easy, right? Okay, now we're going to go to the irregular verbs. Okay, uh, William. <laughs> okay, William, help me with this one. Uh, blow. Yep. Blue. Blue. Okay, okay. Blue. Blue. Ah. Blue. Okay. Blue. Yep. What does it mean? Mm, soplar, creo que es. Yeah, sure, really good, soplar. Muy bien, soplar. Okay, cool. Thank you, William. Really good. Okay, now, uh, Fabricio, ¿ya pasó, Fabricio? No, really. Mm. Okay, go ahead, Fabricio. Break. Broke. Okay, the meaning. Es como romper, ¿verdad? Yeah, romper o quebrar. Yeah, really quebrar, ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure. Yeah. For example, I break my phone and I, I broke my, my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I break my heart. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lady broke my heart. Right? I broke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Good. And now we have this one. Miguel, help me with this one. Miguel Angel. Cut and cut. And cut, yes, really good. This expression, uh, this verb, I'm sorry, is categorizado dentro de los verbos irregulares, pero este no tiene ningún cambio. En presente y en pasado, se dice igual y se escribe igual. Eh, caso contrario a leer, se dice read y en pasado se dice read, aunque la escritura sea la misma. Ok, we're going to have an example here. Uh, let me see, Tatiana, help me to read the example, please. Okay, Tatiana. I took, I took the, the, ground, the grass in the morning. Okay, yeah, really good, thank you. And Tatiana, what's the tense of these sentences? ¿Cuál es el tiempo de esta eh, sentence? Present or past? Yo corté la grama en la mañana. Okay, okay, yeah, really good. Is it the past or in the present? Past or present? ¿Cuál de las dos es? Pasado o presente? Pasado. Yeah, really good. Thank you, Tatiana. It's the past tense. Okay, 
As you see, this verb uh, is gonna sound similar. So that's why, okay, I'm sorry. So that's why uh, we need to identify the tense according to the context, right? Vamos a identificar eh, si está en presente o en pasado de acuerdo al contexto. Este dice in the morning y ahorita ya es de noche, entonces ya pasó, right? Obviamente, obviously, we are talking in the past tense. Okay, I'm going to say this, uh, all of these words again, and please try to listen my pronunciation, right? Okay, accepted, accept, accepted, act, acted, add, added, blow, blew, break, block, cut, cut, I cut the grass in the morning. Yep. Okay, really good. Question about this? No question? Yeah. Is break, no es, este, no se puede tomar como descansar. Okay, okay, break. that's good. Break, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, ahí hay un pequeño dilema. I'm going to try to explain like this. Break puede funcionar como un nombre y como un verbo. Como verbo es... Romper. Yeah, romper. Y como nombre va, va a ser un descanso. Por ejemplo, take a break. Tomen un receso, por decirlo así. Yeah, como nombre. Pero entonces, como verbo sería romper. Por ejemplo, I break o I broke my leg in the morning. Que no pasó, ¿verdad? Me, me rompí la pierna en la mañana. Ok, eh, entonces acá está actuando como verbo. Pero si yo digo, eh, I'm going to have a break, me voy a tomar un descanso, ahí está actuando como nombre. ¿Sí? Yep. Ah, ok, ok. Sí, okay. pero yo lo asociaba con lo del coffee break, que en las reuniones. Ah, yeah, sure. <risa> yeah, el coffee break is like a receso. Uh -huh. Yep. Yeah, okay. that's good. Nice. Thanks for the question. Ok, more questions? No? Ok. I'm going to continue with this. Let me see. Okay, um, here we go. Uh, right now, we're going to go with the attendance list. Unfortunately, uh, when you hear your name, just say present, and I'm going to write uh, a number here, you know, in order to uh, sign an attendance list. Okay, let me see. Okay, here we go. 23. Ok, um, Carlos Enrique Martínez. Presente. Okay, thank you, Carlos, a tiempo. <laughs> okay, good. Wendy Saray Bonilla. Ok, uh, Gabriela Mary Zamora Orellana. Eh, Jorge Alberto Ortiz Molina. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you, Jorge. Uh, let me see this one. Carlos Alfonso Alvarado. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Carlos Antonio Mejía Hernández. Okay, all right. Okay, uh, William Alexander Martinez. Present teacher. Oh, thank you, Marlon. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Miguel Angel Alexander Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you, Miguel. Marlon Ernesto Rodriguez Sandoval. Present teacher. Good. Uh, Rodrigo Alexander Maravilla. Are you there, Rodrigo? I, I don't think so, right? Daisy Elizabeth Resino Alvarez. Daisy, no, right? And uh, Tatiana Ivonne Torres. I am here, teacher. Really good, Tatiana. Marvin Ernesto. All right. Okay, uh, Carlos René Herrera. Okay, good. Fabricio Alexander Jiménez. I'm here, teacher. Okay, really good. And Gabriela, hello. Mary. Present teacher. 
<laughs> okay, I really did. Vino a tiempo. Y, eh, we were waiting for Carlos. Eh, let me see, Carlos. Carlos Antonio Mejía Hernández. Present teacher. Okay, I really did. A tiempo, right? Okay, nice. Let me see. Uh, we're going to continue with today's class. Uh, I'm glad to see you today. And right now, we're going to see this. Okay, let's get started with this, students. Uh, this one is a little bit boring, pero no hay otra forma, hay que verlo, así que uh, pay full attention to this. Uh, we got the verb be in the past tense, was and were, right? Que significa fui o estuve, fui o estuve, dependiendo la conjugación del pronombre con el que se usa. Okay, but in this case, uh, we got an affirmative in questions. ¿Cómo se va a formular una pregunta con was it were? It's really simple, just change the position of the verb be in the past, right? As you do in the present. Solo cambiamos la posición del verbo to be. For example, we got the affirmative. They were happy. Ellos fueron felices. Eh, pero si no sabemos si fueron felices, necesitamos hacer la question, right? Entonces la question, solo cambiamos de posición y decimos, were they happy? ¿Fueron ellos felices? ¿O estaban ellos felices? Whatever you want. And the possible answer is yes or not. Positive or negative. Si es positiva, vamos a responder yes, they were. If it is negative, no, they weren't, right? ¿Por qué utilizamos they? Porque estamos preguntándole acerca de they. Okay, really good. Uh, it's clear this? Yeah, yeah, more or less. Okay. Like a coffee, right? <laughs> really good. Okay, uh, let's see. Right now, we're gonna go with the was word with the question, right? For example, uh, we got these questions. Was John late for work? Was John late for work? ¿Qué quiere decir esta question? Okay, uh, somebody who helped me to say this? John llegó tarde a su trabajo. Ajá. Ok, ok. Ok. Ajá, ajá, Gabriela. Es, es con, en español sería como que está atrasado para el trabajo. Ok. O como nosotros le decimos, nos agarró la tarde. Yeah, really. Bien. But this is like a question, right? Like a ajá. Question. Entonces sería como... Ah, el... No sé. Ajá. <risa> okay. Estaba tarde para el trabajo. Estaba yo tarde para el trabajo. Ajá, yeah, really good. This sounds weird, but it is like that. Es eso, pero suena raro para nosotros, pero así sería literalmente. Ok, si estaba tarde, yes, he was. Si no estaba tarde, ¿cómo vamos a responder? No, he was. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. O no, he was not. Cualquiera de los dos, right? Ok, eh, vamos a aplicar esta question eh, a los que vinieron temprano. Ok. <ríe> Entonces, uh, y you, and you have to answer si es correcto o no. Ok, veamos ahí. Miguel Ángel. Miguel, eh, are you late for today class? No, no, I'm, I'm not. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Yes, really good. Thank you. Congratulations. Okay, right now we're going to ask to Daisy. Daisy, was you late for today's class? What? <laughs> okay, Daisy. Uh, hi, teacher. How are you today? Um, Very good. Okay. Um, solo people. que estoy un poquito todavía indispuesta de salud y por eso le escribí en el chat que estaba okay. como mal y que me iba a conectar, pero no, no, no 
no siento okay. que pueda participar. Ok, Daisy, no problem, right? No problem. If you, are here, if you are here, that's nice. Thank you, Daisy. Ok, eh, we're going to ask to eh, Mary. Aquí voy a estar. Eh, voy a estar. Ok, ok, really good. Thank you, Daisy. Ok, vamos a continuar con Mary. Thank eh, you. You're welcome. Uh, was you late for today's class? Yes, I was. <laughs> ok, really good. Really honest, right? Muy honesta, eh? Thank you, eh, Mary. Ok, that's good. I feel uh, that you understand this part. Right now, uh, we're going to have a couple of examples here. And um, we're going to basically uh, sing some of them. Vamos a ver solo algunos de ellos porque el tiempo no nos va a dar. Así que tenemos short answers. Eh, these students, you are allowed to answer in a short or a long way. Ustedes están, eh, básicamente, es su decisión si responder corto o más largo. Por ejemplo, eh, si yo le preguntaba a Mary, eh, vino tarde la clase de ahora, ella me dice, ah, sí, sí, yo vine tarde. Pero si ella quiere darme una explicación, lo puede hacer. Pero en inglés, eh, la, la cultura casi es más precisa, ¿sí? Más precisa lo que están preguntando. Así que por eso vamos a hacer eh, respuestas más precisas. Ok, really good. Ok, eh, as you see, it's happened the same that in the present. Ok. Eh, in the present, we change the position of the verb. In the past, happened the same. Uh, let's see a couple of examples here. Uh, for example, this one. Eh, do you know what does it mean busy, right? Busy. What does it mean, busy? Ocupado. 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 Okay, this is a basic question. Were you busy yesterday? Estaban ocupados ayer? Si lo estaban, vamos a decir yes. Si no, no, right? And the rest of the answer. Okay. Eh, veamos ahí, Carlos Alfonso. Pregúntele ahí a Fabricio. This question. Okay. Were you busy yesterday? No, it wasn't. Okay, really good. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> now Fabricio ask this question to William. Okay. William, where are you called last night? Okay. Oh, this. Yes, I was. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, sure, because it's raining, right? <laughs> yeah. okay, nice. Okay, right now, uh, William ask, um, let me see, this, this question to Jorge. Um, where are they hungry? Okay. No, they weren't. No, they weren't, right? <laughs> they ate on time. They just come at the end. Okay, that's good. Amazing. Really good. Okay, as you see, this is really simple. I don't know if you have a question about this. Questions? No, right? Okay, eh, esto es fácil. Solo como ustedes hacen una oración en presente simple, solo cambian la posición del verbo to be y la convierten en una question, right? Ahí es simple como eso. Okay, really good. Right now we're gonna go to the, let me see, yeah. To the okay, yeah, let me see. Okay, we're gonna go with the auxiliary did. Uh, what happened here uh, to form a question in the past tense? I did at the beginning, para formular una pregunta con did, did tiene que ir a donde al principio, al final, o en medio. At the beginning, the middle, or at the end. Yes, really good. At the beginning, thank yeah. you, Fabricio. Yeah, really good. At the beginning, let's see a couple of examples here. Veamos, tenemos unos verbos acá. Eh, la fórmula es simple. Tenemos que llevar did plus a subject, que son los pronombres personales, plus a verb, plus a complement, right? Okay, and the question mark. Okay, eh, these are verbs. Tenemos read. What does it mean read? Leer. 
Yeah. Go. Ir. Yeah, sure. Watch. Ver. Yeah. Okay. Come. Venir o ven. Yeah. Help. Ayuda. Yeah, really good. As you see, estos verbos están en pasado. Presente. Yeah, no. in the present, right? In the present. present. ¿Por qué están en presente? Porque ¿Por estamos usando DID. El auxiliar. El DID es auxiliar. Yeah, y DID nos está diciendo que la pregunta va a ser. Pasado. El pasado. pasado. Yeah, really good. Thank you. Ok, eh, we're going to see a couple of examples. I'm going to tell you in Spanish and you have to translate it into English, right? Se las diré en español y ustedes me la traducen al inglés. Ok, vamos a empezar con Tatiana. We're going to start with Tatiana. Tatiana, ready? Ok, Tatiana, dígame. Eh, veamos. Um, veamos. Eh, um, let me see. Yeah. Ok, uh, Tatiana me va a decir. <coughs> si usted leyó ayer... Did, did I read? Okay. Uh, okay. Did, did yeah. you? You. Did yeah. you read? Yes, sir, I. Yeah, really good. Thank you, Tatiana. Okay. Thank you so much. And now we're going to go with Carlos Mejia. Ready? <clears throat> okay, Carlos Mejia. Okay. Uh, Vio televisión eh, ella ayer. Miró televisión. Ok, Carlos. Eh, ajá, again, please. I'm sorry. Um, did you watch TV yesterday? Ok, ok, that's good. Pero, pero aquí sería de ella. Eh, me, vamos a preguntar. Ah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Did she watch TV yesterday? Yeah, really good. Thank you. Really good. Okay, right now we're going to go with, uh, let me see, Jorge Alberto. Okay. Eh, ¿El vino a casa? Eh, did he come home? Okay, yeah, really good. Thank you, Jorge. Okay, I think, student, you got uh, how to make questions with it. I don't know if you have uh, doubts about this. Tienen dudas aún acerca de cómo hacer la pregunta con did? You have doubts? No? No question. No question. Okay, really good. Amazing. Okay, uh, we're going to continue with uh, this. Basically, this we uh, explained this yesterday class, but we're going to do it again. We're going to use a did in the simple past as an auxiliary and as a verb. Como auxiliar va a funcionar como questions that it's mean nothing. Obviously, it's meaning that uh, we got a questions and didn't like a verb in the negative. Okay. And as a verb, hacer, right? Did. Pero en pasado, did, hice. Ok, eh, and we got some example here. Vimos estos ejemplos. Eh, did you work yesterday? Esta es una questions. Nos está diciendo did, que es en pasado. El verbo queda en presente. Y agregamos un complement, right? Ok, this one, I didn't go to work yesterday. Didn't, nos está diciendo que es en pasado. Y está negando el verbo go, right? And uh, we're going to have like a verb. Vamos a tener ya el verbo puro. I did something yesterday. Yo hice algo ayer. Acá sería hice. Ya sería como verbo. I did my homework last week. Hice mi tarea la semana pasada. Como verbo, like a verb. Okay, uh, right now we were missing this, right? Uh, nos hizo falta esto, así que uh, we're going to work on this. Um... This is almost the same. These are questions, right? We got these questions. Did 
is telling us that is in the past. Did, 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 and we get some verbs called pay, receive, sign. Okay, uh, if you understand all of these um, verbs, it's gonna be easy for you to ask these questions, right? Okay, uh, we're gonna start with these questions. Uh, Mary, can you ask this question, the first one, to Carlos? Okay. Did you call a mechanic to check your, your car? Yeah, thank you. Okay, Carlos, answer. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay, yes, I did, right. <laughs> okay, then we're gonna continue with this. Uh, let me see, Carlos, ask this question to Tatiana. Did you pay extra money? Okay, Tatiana. Yes, she did. Really, yeah, cool. Tatiana, you got no extra money, right? Salió más grande ahí el cheque, good. Okay, Tatiana, now ask this question to Carlos Alfonso. Did we re receive a report? No, we didn't. Okay, really good. Carlos, ask this question to Carlos Enrique. Did they sing the letter? Okay, Carlos Enrique. Answer that question. <laughs> okay, I think he's praying, right? Okay, Carlos Enrique, are you there? Okay, I think he got a problem with the microphone. Okay, uh, let's see. This one, uh, Carlos Alfonso, sign. This day, sign the letter. The letter. Letter. Yes, really good. Okay, uh, Miguel Angel, answer this question, please. Did they sing the letter? Sign, sign. Sign. Did they sing, did they sign the letter? Okay, really good. Yes, they did, right? I'm gonna answer that question. So, okay, really good. Okay, right now, as you see this, Esto es sumamente fácil, solo ponemos did y ya se forma una questions. Okay, right now we got some answers. Yes, I did. I sent the e email. No, they didn't. They didn't check the paycheck, the package, I'm sorry. Yes, it did. The car turned on again. No, we didn't. We never received a copy of the receipt. Yes, he did. He bought a new tire. Okay, as you see here, we got the answer. Tenemos las respuestas, así que necesitamos las preguntas. Preguntas, okay, muy bien. Uh, you're gonna have, let me see, one minute. Thinking a question, right? And then I'm gonna answer randomly. I'm gonna ask you about that randomly. Okay, go ahead, one minute. Okay, ready? Yeah, sure, right? Okay. 
Uh, basically, uh, I'm gonna ask you randomly for these questions. Okay, who wants to start? We have to ask about the email. Did, did you did you send the email? Okay, Tatiana, let's see if it's right. Yeah, really good, Tatiana. Congratulations. I like it. Thank you. Okay, Tatiana, uh, choose a name of your partners. Elija un nombre de sus compañeros ahí. Ok, Tatiana, ¿estás ahí? Ok, Tatiana said. Carlos Alfonso, es que fui a ver quién estaba. Ok, ok. Carlos Alfonso, you are the lucky man. Go ahead, number two. Es bien. This day, check the, check the package. Yeah, really good. Let's see. Yeah, sure. Congratulations. Did they check the package? Okay. Okay, okay. Really good. Carlos Alfonso, choose a name from your classmates. Okay, I'm sorry. Turn on the microphone, please. El, el otro Carlos, ahí, el tocayo. Ah, ok, Carlos Enrique. <laughs> ok, Carlos. Enrique. Carlos Enrique, uh, help me with, not, with number three. Ok, let's see. I think Carlos Enrique uh, put us a, a video about himself. Creo que nos puso un video ahí del mismo, por eso que no nos conteste. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, Carlos, go ahead. Number three. Did it the car turn it on again? Okay, turn on again. Okay, really good. Did okay, you see Carlos? Did it the car the car turn it on again? Again, ok, really good. Ok, Carlos Enrique, me gusta, esta era una de las un poquito más complicaditas, solo que eh, Carlos me usa dos veces el pronombre personal, it y the car. Solo vamos a utilizar uno, puede ser solo it o solo the car. Yes. Yep. Ok, eh, did the car turn on again? Right? Ok, really good, thank you. Carlos Enrique, give me a name. De los que vean más sonriente ahí, a big smile. Okay. But don't say the teacher. <laughs> ok. Um, Carlos Mejía. <laughs> ok. <laughs> Carlos Mejía. <laughs> ok. Los Carlos están con todos hoy. Ok. Good. Number four, Carlos. Sí. Qué, qué role. Yeah. <laughs> ok. Carlos Mejía, number four. Okay, we couldn't hear you, Carlos. Did we, did we, we, um, receiver, re, re, no, no, re, receive a, a copy of the receipt. Receive? Receive, I'm sorry. Okay, 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 really good, Carlos. Okay, like this, right? Can you repeat it again? Okay, Carlos, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think Carlos got a problem with the internet connections. Uh, Carlos said, did you receive a copy of the receipt? Okay, nice. Lo hizo muy bien, lo conjugó muy bien, así que está really, really nice. Okay, somebody else. Somebody else, a volunteer, raise your hands with the last one. Okay. Todos quieren, okay, just one. Okay. Hey teacher, para cerrar con los Carlos. Okay, ah, okay, very good, Carlos René. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Did he, did he buy a new tire? Did he buy a new tire? Yeah, really good. Nice. Congratulations, Carlos. 
Okay, Thank we you. got four Carlos, right? All of them are the winners. <laughs> okay, really good. Uh, 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 question. Tell me, tell me. El número cuatro, este, we didn't, porque la pregunta era en you. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, the, in this case, Carlos Alfonso, are you right? Did we, did we. Acá se me fue, did you, right? Yep. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, eh, ten, eh, queríamos ver ahí si estaban poniendo <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. okay, thank you. Ahí ponemos unas trampas ahí para que pues vayamos eh, aprendiendo. <laughs> okay, really good. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent work. Okay, question about this? More questions? No? Okay, cool. Right now, we're going to watch a video, students, uh, that some of you uh, watch the beginning of the class, but we're going to replay it again. Okay, let me see, put it again. Okay, eh, vamos a ver un video acerca del uso del did in the past tense and uh, basically the simple past. Todo acerca del de pasado simple, right? Eh, okay, here we go. Pay full attention to this. It's, um, it's going to be useful for you. Así que, eh, go ahead. TV. The past simple. How do we form the past simple? Affirmative. Subject. Plus. Verb in past tense. Plus. Object. We. Ate. Some lovely pizzas. Last night. Conjugating the past simple affirmative. Wash the car. You wash the car. He wash the car. She wash the car. We wash the car. They wash the car. How do we form the past simple? Negative. Subject. Plus. Did. Plus. Not. Plus. Verb. Plus. Object. Jim. Did. Not. Finish. His homework. Conjugating the past simple. Negative. I did not wash the car. You did not wash the car. He did not wash the car. She did not wash the car. We did not wash the car. They did not wash the car. We can contract the negative form of the auxiliary verb, do, in the past. I did not. I didn't. You did not. You didn't. He did not. 
she did not. He didn't, she didn't. We did not. We didn't. They did not. They didn't. How do we form the past simple? Interrogative. Did. Plus. Subject. Plus. Verb. Plus. Object. Did. You. Listen. To music. Last night. Conjugating the past simple interrogative. Did I wash the car? Did you wash the car? Did he wash the car? Did she wash the car? Did we wash the car? Did they wash the car? Okay, freaking kid. Okay, right now I think that you understand in a better way uh, the past simple tense, right? Ok, ahora sí creo que quedó más claro el pasado simple. Yep. <laughs> ok, it's clear. Yes. Yeah, ok, really good, thank you. Ok, good. Good evening, Marvin. <laughs> How are you today? Good evening. I'm fine, teacher. Okay, cool, nice. Okay, we're gonna uh, continue with today's class because of the time. And right now, students, we're gonna do something really, really special for you, right? This is the best part for today's class. Esto es lo mejor que hay. I know that you love it. And right now, we're gonna listen a person, you know, asking each other and giving information about a program, right? And we have to try to listen to this. Uh, conversation between these two people. Okay, uh, let's get started with this. Let me see, yep, you're right. Yep, okay, very good. Give me a chance, yep. Okay, uh, we're gonna listen this audio. Please pay full attention to this. And uh, when the audio finish, right, I'm gonna ask you, what do you understand? If you understand one word uh, in a previous class, uh, try to understand two right now, right? And so on. Si, aprend si la vez pasada entendieron una, ahora intenten comprender dos. Si la vez pasada diez, ahora intenten comprender quince, veinte, and so on. Okay, really good. Uh, here we go, right? Okay, listen to this. Listen, I'm gonna help you. Yes, yeah, I'm calling to find it. Okay, I'm sorry. We're gonna try to uh, listen again. Okay. English Language Center, how may I help you? Yes, yeah, I'm calling to find out more information about your program. For example, what kind of courses do you offer? Well, first of all, the purpose of our program is to provide language learning opportunities to this area's community. Mm -hmm. Whether a student's goal is to master basic functional language skills, let's say for his or her job, or to study intensively to enter a U.S. college or university. Okay, I'm calling for a friend who's interested in attending a U.S. university. And that's the kind of uh, instruction that we provide, from basic communication courses to content-based classes, such as computer literacy, intercultural communication, and business English. Great, what are your application deadlines for the next semester? Well, we ask applicants to apply no later than two months before the semester begins. Mm -hmm. This gives us time to process the application and issue the student's I-20. An I-20? Oh, 
An I-20 is a form that indicates that we are giving permission for the student to study in our program. And then the student takes this form to the U.S. Embassy in his or her country to apply for the F-1 student visa. All right. What is the tuition for a full-time student? It's $2,030. And how does one apply? Well, we can send you an application and you can mail that to us or you can fill out our application that's online at our website. And are there other materials I would need to send in addition to the application form? Uh, yes, you would need to send in a $35 non-refundable application fee, a sponsorship form indicating who will be responsible financially for the student while studying in our program, and a bank statement showing that you or your sponsor has sufficient funds to cover tuition expenses and living costs for the entire year of study. And how can I send these materials to you? You can either send the application packet by regular mail or you can fax it. And the application fee? We accept money orders, traveler's checks, or credit cards. All right, I think that's about it. Okay, great. Oh, and what is your name? Okay, my name is Tony Nelson. You can just call and ask for me. Well, great, thank you for your help. No problem, man. Please don't hesitate to call again if you have any other questions. Okay, goodbye. Okay, really good. You got to write everything is clear. Okay, nice. Uh, can you tell me a word that you understand? Okay. What word did you understand, right? You can say tens, one, two words. Okay, go ahead. Ok, ¿qué palabras comprendieron, chicos, ahí? Ok, goodbye. Ok, goodbye. Ok, ya es una base. <laughs> ok. Yeah, <laughs> finish. Ok, that's good. Somebody else? Veamos, ¿qué más? Credit card. Ok, credit card. Good. Ok, what else? ¿Qué más, qué más? Business. Business English, algo así dijo. Ok, ok. Good. Yeah. Al, al inicio, class. cuando le dice, how can I help you? Ah, ok, yeah, sure. The, the, the basic question, right? Ok, really good morning. Hey, good evening, Rodrigo. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Ok, how are you today? Tired? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, okay, don't worry. Okay, students, uh, we're gonna try to um, to complete these sentences right on some questions. And we're gonna have the first one, it says, one purpose of the center is to help learners. Uno de los propósitos de este centro es ayudar a los, a los estudiantes a qué? Aprender. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Okay, according to these three options, right? Prepare for the college. <laughs> meet new friends. Meet new friends. Okay, it could be, it could be. Don't worry right now. We're going to try to listen again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, what is the, what is one horse touch at English language? Veamos, <laughs> esta pregunta dice, what? ¿Qué curso enseña este centro de eh, idiomas? Business English. Business English. Business English. Oh, U.S. Culture. Yeah. Okay, you see it's like... English. Okay, then in the fall semester, begin in August 29th. By what day should one apply to the program, right? Eh, ¿Cómo en qué fecha voy a aplicar a este programa si inicia en agosto 29? July. July, June, May, ok, whatever, right? Okay. June, June creo que. June, right? Ok, ok, more or less, yeah, cool. Ok, then we have this, what, what is the tuition, right, for the full-time student? ¿Cuál es la cuota que deben pagar? Two thousand three hundred. Two thousand thirteen. Two thousand thirty. Two thousand thirty. Okay. Okay. We're gonna say it in a minute. Right? Two thousand thirty. 
<laughs> the last one that we have, we're gonna have the students need to send teacher recommendation and a sponsorship form their high school transcript to the center. Okay, this is easy, right? Este está facilito también, así que let's try to listen again and then we're gonna answer this uh, question, right? Okay, here we go. English Language Center, how may I help you? Yes, I'm calling to find out more information about your program. For example, what kind of courses do you offer? Well, first of all, the purpose of our program is to provide language learning opportunities to this area's community. Mm -hmm. Whether a student's goal is to master basic functional language skills, let's say for his or her job, or to study intensively to enter a U.S. college or university. Okay. I'm calling for a friend who's interested in attending a U.S. university. And that's the kind of uh, instruction that we provide, from basic communication courses to content-based classes such as computer literacy, intercultural communication, and business English. Great. What are your application deadlines for the next semester? Well, we ask applicants to apply no later than two months before the semester begins. Mm -hmm. This gives us time to process the application and issue the student's I-20. An I-20? Oh, an I-20 is a form that indicates that we are giving permission for the student to study in our program. And then the student takes this form to the U.S. Embassy in his or her country to apply for the F-1 student visa. All right. What is the tuition for a full-time student? It's $2,030. And how does one apply? Well, we can send you an application and you can mail that to us or you can fill out our application that's online at our website. And are there other materials I would need to send in addition to the application form? Uh, yes, you would need to send in a $35 non-refundable application fee, mm -hmm. a sponsorship form indicating who will be responsible financially for the student while studying in our program, and a bank statement showing that you or your sponsor has sufficient funds to cover tuition expenses and living costs for the entire year of study. And how can I send these materials to you? You can either send the application packet by regular mail or you can fax it. And the application fee? We accept money orders, traveler's checks, or credit cards. All right, I think that's about it. Okay, great. Oh, and what is your name? Okay, my name is Tony Nelson. You can just call and ask for me. Well, great, thank you for your help. No problem, man. Please don't hesitate to call again if you have any other questions. Okay, goodbye. Okay, very good. Right now, you really understand goodbye, right? Again. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, we're gonna try to answer this. Uh, a exercise right the first one what is it prepared for college for the college prepare for college everybody is agree <clears throat> yeah yes. okay yes. really good here we go yeah. Ahora sí vamos con todo. <laughs> okay <laughs> what is one course touch at English language center Business English. Business English. Business English. Really good. Okay, here yes. we go. Hey, do something like this, right? Okay. Yeah, sure. Business. <laughs> <laughs> I can see your face is right. Really happy. <laughs> okay. If the fall semester begin on August 20th, 29th, by what day should one apply to the program? June, June 20, 29th. Okay, June 29th. Why, Wendy? Why? Okay. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Uh, July. July or June? Remember that mm -hmm. it has to apply two months ago. Two months ago. Mm. May 21. June. May June. May. May 29. May 29. May, are you sure? Yeah. May. May. This one. May. May. June. Okay, who said June? June. May. Okay. 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 Vamos a ver, quiero que se saque el 10 ahora, así que, que <risa> es your hand, I say May, levanten la mano los que dicen May. Two, three, four, ok, that's good. 
Uh, June, raise your hand, June. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay, June, raise your hand. Okay, yeah, here we go. Yeah, really good, it's June. <laughs> Me gustó William, que William estaba de acuerdo en ambas. Así que ese es el William. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna go to the money rate. Uh, what is the tuition for the full time student? Really good. Nice. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> okay, and the last one. Ok, I'm gonna send you a cup of coffee. Les voy a mandar ahí un cafecito para que esta salga buena también. Ok, here we go. Uh, <laughs> need to send what? A sponsorship or form. Ok, everybody's agree? A sponsorship. Yes, a sponsorship. Yeah. Ok, yeah. Good. Ok, here we go. <clears throat> ok. <laughs> Yeah, congratulations, really good. <laughs> you got a 10, right? Five out of five. Okay, nice. Me gusta. Eh, ahora venimos un poquito más despierto y eso que es viernes. Así que nice. Congratulations. <laughs> I like it, right? Okay, students, uh, we're going to continue with today's class. And right now, we have a, a reading part. Tenemos una parte de lectura. Así que we're going to talk about something in the past, right? Vamos a hablar de cosas en el pasado. Okay. Eh, veamos, we're going to talk about uh, an experience that these two different people have with two different companies. Miss Mendoza and Mr. Torres. Miss Mendoza and Mr. Torres, right? This is a man, this is a lady. Man, lady. Okay, both got a problem. Ya vamos a ver con qué tiene el problema, but uh, at the beginning we're gonna try to read this in the best way. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give you 30 seconds. Take a look of the, to, uh, echen un vistazo a esto y luego vamos a leerlo, right? Okay, go ahead. If you have a question about the pronunciation of one word, you can tell me. How do you say technician? Technician. Technician. Yeah. yeah. Technician. Technician. yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So, solve it. Salt. 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 Remember, Wendy, that uh, we're going to have the regular verbs. Vamos a agregar ed. ED. La pronunciación El verbo termina en T o T. Solvent. En este caso sería sol. Ok. More questions? All right. Really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we're going to start with this. Uh, I don't know who wants to start to read this one. You can do it. The more you practice, the more you practice. Okay. Who wants to try with Miss Mendoza? Okay, Miss Mendoza. ¿Quién quiere iniciar con Miss Mendoza? Okay, eh, I think everybody wants to practice this, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, but I'm going to give you the opportunity to Rodrigo. Okay, Rodrigo, go ahead. Try to read this one. Okay. I have a problem with the payroll system. 
but a technician came to help me with it. He solved it, but he didn't say anything. He even charged me for a piece he broke. He gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand it. Besides all that, I forgot to mention that he came very late. Okay, really, really good. I like it, Rodrigo. Thank you. Okay, nice. Cool. Okay, somebody else who wants to read this one, the same? Okay, I got a uh, memory. Do you want? Okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Mr. Mendoza. Yeah. ¿Verdad? Miss Mendoza. Okay. Yes. I had a Okay, Mr. I had a problem with the payroll system, but but a technician came to help me with 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 it. He solved it. Solved it <laughs> but he didn't say anything he even shared me for a piece he broke he gave me a copy of the report but i didn't understand it besides all that i forgot to mention that he came very late okay really good mary nice good job okay in this case a uh, piece 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 yeah piece una pieza right Okay, really good. Somebody else? Somebody else? A student? Don't be shy. You can do it. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Fabricio. Thank you. Mr. Mendoza, I have a problem with the patrol system, but a technical came to the help me with it. He saw it, but the, he didn't say anything. He even charged my for a piece he broke. He gave, he gave me a copy of the report, but I didn't understand, understand it. Bes, uh, besides all that, besides yeah. all that, I forgot to mention that they came very late. Okay, yeah, really good. Thank you, Fabrizio. Really good. Okay, as you see, uh, some of you uh, don't have problem and some, yeah, right? Okay, but in this case, you're going to say this one, payroll, payroll, payroll. Okay, do you know what does it mean, payroll? Planilla, pago. Planilla. Yeah, really good, Carlos. Planilla. <laughs> Planilla de pago, right? Nice. Okay, uh, this you're gonna say technicians came. And okay, right now students, you have to identify the uh, verb that we have in this reading in the past simple tense. Veamos cuáles son los verbos que tenemos en pasado simple. Comencemos right now. Have. Came. Ball. Come. Really good. Solve. 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 Okay, right now uh, we're gonna do something interesting. Uh, I need somebody who translate all of this into Spanish. Who wants to do it? Okay, in Spanish. Un problema parece con el sistema de planillas o algo así. Okay, okay, muy bien. William, continue. Sí, pero necesita la ayuda de un técnico. Ah, necesita la ayuda de un técnico. Pero este, un técnico vino a ayudarme con esto. Yeah, thank you, Mary. Lo resolvió, pero... Resolvió, pero... 
No le dijo nada. ¿ves? Él dice que no tiene nada. No, no tiene nada, no tiene nada y... Y, y siempre mm. me cargó una pieza rota. Una pieza, es. Cambia la pieza. Ah, cambió una pieza quebrada. Cambió una pieza. Y, me, y me dio una copia del reporte. Okay. Pero, Pero yo no, ent no le entendí. Entiendo. Ah. Esto. Además de eso. Todo es que... Además de eso, no olvidé de todo eso. Yo no olvidé eso. Que él vino tarde, muy tarde. Muy tarde. <risa> ok, eh, un poco típico acá. <risa> But that's good. Okay. Thank you, really good. I, I see that you understand all of the words. That's amazing, I like it. And right now we're going to jump to Mr. Torres. Mr. Torres. Ok, as you see here, students, This is like a title, Mr. Mrs., right? Ese es para ladies y ese es para men. Eh, ¿Qué pasa acá? Vamos a utilizarlo con los apellidos. Por ejemplo, eh, si yo digo eh, Fabricio es Jiménez, su apellido, right? Eh, Mr. Yes. Jiménez. Yeah. Mr. Mejía. Mr. Mr. Uh, Ortiz. Y así, con el apellido. Vamos a utilizar estos títulos. No con el nombre, right? Ok. En el caso de la chica sería Miss Zamora. Eh, Miss Torres. And so on, right? Ok. Very good. Uh, we're going to jump to the other example. I need somebody who help me to read it. This one. This one is really, really easy. Ok. Let's see. Um, let me see. William. Go ahead, William. You look like that you want to practice. Okay. I have a problem with the cars engine. So I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was very, really fast. And he was keep to fix my car's problem. To, he gave me details about the incident and, the, and he gave me a report of it. Yeah. Then he started the engine and everything was perfect. Okay, really good, William. Thank you. Nice. Congratulations. Jorge, can you help me to read it, please, again? Uh, Mr. Torres, I had a problem with the car engine. So I called for assist, assistant. assistant. Yeah. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast. And he was quick to fix my car problem too. He gave me the take about the accident and he gave me a report for it. Then I started the engine and everything was perfect. Okay, really good, Jorge, nice, congratulations. Okay, uh, Marvin, do you wanna try it? I had a problem with the car's engine. So I called for assistance. The mechanic was really kind. He was there really fast. And he was quick to fix my car problem too. He gave details about the incident and he gave me a report of it. The, I started the engine and everything was perfect. Okay, really good, Marvin, thank you. Okay, guys, as you see, uh, you are improving a lot. Right now, you are not shy. Ya se les quitó, quitó lo tímido ahí, así que that's nice. Eh, we're going to translate this into Spanish. Voy a, voy a comenzarles a eh, ayudar acá con lo más difícil. Tuve un problema. Continuemos. Con el motor del vehículo. Muy bien. Y llamé a un asistente. Muy bien. El mecánico, el mecánico fue realmente amable. Cortés, amable. Él, él fue... Él realmente fue rápido. Muy rápido. Llegó muy rápido. Y sí, él fue... No, el problema es... Sí. Arregló. Él, ajá, también. También. Él... 
me dio mm. detalles del incidente o del problema. Ok, ok. He gave me details about the incident. Me dio detalles de ese incidente y... Este, y él me, me dio un reporte de esto. Me dio un reporte de esto. Encendí el motor y todo estaba perfecto. Todo estaba perfecto. Everything was perfect. Really good. Nice. Todo estaba perfecto. Aquí eh, eh, el mecánico eh, del año, right? Eh, puedes tallar un mecánico así que se ponga las pilas. Eh, Rodrigo es a good mechanic, right? Eh, <laughs> así que I recommend to Rodrigo, right? <laughs> okay, good. Nice. Okay, students, as you see, this is really easy. If you understand these uh, readings, uh, I think that you understand the simple past tense. Okay, but right now we're gonna work together. Okay, dimensions. Okay, yep, sure. This one. Okay, what we're gonna do here? Okay, let me see. Okay, what you're gonna do here, students? Uh, you're gonna work on your own customer problems. Vamos a trabajar en su propio eh, problema acerca de un servicio or a product that you receive, right? Similar to this, similar a este. We're gonna work in groups. Vamos a hacer un problema acerca de algo específico. You can talk about a car, you can talk about a phone, um, you can talk about a hotel, right? Hospital, a, a flight, I don't know, whatever you want. Okay, ready? Yeah, sure, keep on ready. Okay, here we go. Let me see. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, practice each other and try to build your own conversation, right? Good luck. Okay, uh, Carlos René, are you there? Yeah, sure, Daisy. I accept the invitation to the me uh, to the group, right? Group number three. Okay, Daisy, are you there? Okay, and uh, Daisy got a little problem with Andrew with with her health. Tiene un problemita ahí de salud, así que Daisy uh, probably is just listening to uh, this class, right? Okay, uh, let me see. Puede poner, no sé, con, con, con algún servicio, con algún producto que digamos que usted ha comprado, hacer un, un párrafo como similar al que estábamos viendo. Ah, ok. Hmm. Ya sea poniendo que está contento y poniendo que está bien enojado. Cualquiera de los dos, perdón. O, o sea, digamos que usted puede explicar qué le sucedió, digamos, con el, con el producto del servicio y cómo, 
así como estaba ahí, digamos, el primero que decía que tenía un problema con el, con el motor del vehículo. Entonces, y ahí usted como da como la experiencia que tuvo con, 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 cómo le resolvieron, por así decirlo. Ah, ok. Entonces puede decir, I had a problem, y ahí dice con, con qué, no sé con qué. Hmm. Prefería hacerlo. Ya. Yeah. We are thinking about in memory to on the webcam, please. Oh my God, no sé en qué momento lo pagué. <laughs> okay, no problem, Ray. Okay, that's good. You have to think in a product and then a uh, bit of the uh, history or the resume that you're gonna do about the, uh, the experience that you live with that product or service. Okay. Okay, okay nice. Okay, see you in a moment, right? Okay, okay. bye bye. Perfect. <laughs> bye, bye. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 He has had a lot of problems. Oh. Yes, I'm the same. It's raining. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. It will be a nice example. Very good. Are you teacher? Yeah, it's okay. Thank you. Class, 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 yes. Come down, please. Ready. Okay. 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 okay, Marvin, in this case, I already can connect to the class. I can already. Yeah. In the other way around. I already can connect to the class. Connected. Yeah. Connected the the class or the class. No, no, right. Uh, I still have been connect. Solo already. Lo va a cambiar de positions. Already. I already. Already can connect. Yeah, to the class. It's okay. To the class. Okay. Así lo dejaría o le agregamos más. You have to add more, right? <laughs> Tiene que agregarle más ahí. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, guys, you, you got a questions? No questions? Mm. Yeah. No, teacher. No, right now. Okay, I'm going to go to another group. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. You'll see in a minute, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. No, la verdad que se me mojó toda la ropa. Papá, papá. <laughs> ¿Cómo, fue, cómo, ¿Cómo es? Eso fue molesto. It was... Y eso... Uh, fue molesto. Uh, annoyed. Annoyed. Noise. Annoyed. Nice. annoyed. And that was annoyed. Double N. Double N. Yeah. Really good. Annoyed que no es ING al final. 
Imagine. Uh, uh, no, I no. What's annoyed? Yeah, like this. Vaya, porque ahora sí podemos hacer tu buena experiencia. Vaya, my, my experience uh, use my experience use bookers that come. Mm -hmm. My experience uh, use uh, uh, la falta la de la de, de cómo es pasado. Use, uh, mm -hmm. Booking.com Booking.com Booking, así Booking, ajá, uh -huh. correcto Is very terrible ¿Cómo? Very Terrible very, Ajá, terrible Terrible <laughs> uh, Ok, uh, Fabricio, what does it mean terrible? Terrible Ajá, de yo Ah Ter ¿Cómo? cómo? Uh, terrible. It terrible. It's positive or negative? <laughs> negative. Negative, are you sure? <laughs> Look for that word. Ah, no, 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 no. It's terrible. It, it, es que it's positive. It's, it's positive. No, uh -huh. es que terrific is positive. Terrible is es, es awful. Yeah, it's terrific. awful. Terrific. Ajá. Terrific is okay, okay. positive. Yeah, it's positive. Okay, that's mm. nice. It is incredible. <laughs> it's really terrible. Terrible. Uh huh. Okay, horrible, terrible, awful. Okay. Terrible. Nice. Uh, because because I did my reservation two weeks before. Reservation? Uh, two weeks, two semanas, two weeks before. Uh -huh. uh, in the hostel. For forty dollars. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> Uh, the reservation was a room singer. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, yes. Okay, hello, hello, guys. How are you there? Did you finish? Ya casi, estamos ahí preparándolo. Okay, almost finished, right? Okay, good. Este, solo una pregunta. Tell me, William. Eh, por ejemplo, para, digamos, un electrónico, pero que repara cosas eléctricas, pero no electricista. Si no, con okay. este electrónico se, se dice, ¿cómo se dice? Technician electronic, así. Electronical technician. Uh, electronical technician. O electronical tech. Tech. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. You got more questions? Mm -hmm. Para decir, me volvió a cobrar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Eh, okay, let me see. It will be like uh, uh, the, exam the example before, right? Uh, like this, let me see. Okay, okay me volvió a cobrar. Ah, por ejemplo, It quiero poner, me volvió a cobrar la reparación. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, Basically, you cannot. I'm gonna write on the chat, right? In the chat, let's write it here. It could be in both ways. Okay. Uh, he, 
um, asking for the money again. Okay, uh, ahí en el chat le, les, les escribí. Okay, ¿cómo puedo decirlo? Uh, he asked me for the money again. Es la más simple. He has me for the money again. Okay. Yep. Okay, really good. More questions? No, right? No question, teacher. Okay, really good. What about you, Carlos Mejia? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello. How's it going? Do you have questions? Um, no sé si está bien decir este me pidió detalles o ask me for the tie of my problem. No sé si está bien escrito. Okay, okay. Can you repeat it again? Uh, uh, para decir, este, me pidió detalles de mi problema. No sé si estará bien escrito. Will ask you me for the title of my problem. Yeah, ask you for the title of my problem. Yeah, really good. It's okay. It's okay. Ajá, uh -huh. está, es, es correct. It's right, it's right. Ah, okay. Okay, yeah, nice. Cool. Okay, uh, I'm gonna back to uh, another group. I'll see you in a minute when you finish, right? Okay. Okay. Yo termino de chirar si quiere. You finish. No puedo leer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, give me a minute. Uh, go ahead, Carlos Alfonso. Okay. Okay. Este, I have a problem with the debit card. Okay at the ATM, but a customer service exec, executive, eh, no sé si está bien pronunciado, ejecutivo, executive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, but a customer service executive help, help me, help me. Mm -hmm. He made a report and they returned the money. To the, do the account. He gave me a case number, but it was not necessary okay. to use it because in a, a few hours, everything was ready. Okay, really nice. Yo me entendía, pero... Pero me puede ayudar ahí a, a yeah, corregirlo. I got it. Yo sí le comprendí muy bien. Ok, eh, Betito, uh, todo está genial. Eh, Carlos Alfonso, eh, le comprendí todo, así que estamos nice, muy bien estructurados. Solo en la pronunciación de help, solo es con T, help, help. Help. Ya, yeah, aunque tiene la ED, no se pronuncia help, it, sino help. Solo en eso, ah, okay. lo demás, really nice. Good job. Okay. Okay, somebody else. Yeah. Helps me. Helps me, yeah, sure. Okay, okay. Okay, veamos ahí, Carlos Mejía, you finish? Okay, yes, yes teacher. Yeah. Um, last week I had a problem with the internet in my house. I called the company and after a few minutes, of the quieting. A receptionist took my case who asked me for the title of my problem. Okay. A checking my personal debt, I shall shall done and beast for um technician. Who arrived two days later to solve me gave me instruction instruction for use and left me his contact number any data. Okay. 
Okay, really good, Carlos Mejia. Uh, can you share your screen, Carlos Mejia, please? Uh, well, el problema es que tuve detalle con el internet de mi casa, ¿verdad? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ajá, y ahí llamé a la compañía. Uh -huh. este, me una Después de una espera de unos minutos, me, me, me dio una recepcionista, ¿sí? Yeah. Eh, me pidió detalles y me agendó una visita con un técnico. A los dos días me resolvieron y el técnico me dejó su número por cualquier detalle. Ok, really nice, Carlos Mejía. Good job. Thank you. What about you, William? Ready? Yes. Uh, ok. Ahorita. I had a problem with my electrical guitar. Okay. I heard to an electronic technician. Okay. Uh, I helped my fix, me fix, perdón. I helped me fix the problem. But after three days, it failed again. I do not like the way he treated me the second time. Because he did not want to give me a warranty for the repair. Okay. He asked me for the money again for the repair. I was not, I wasn't satisfied as a customer. Okay, okay, really nice, William. Good job. Uh, congratulations. Solo a uh, guitar, vamos a hacer a guitar. Guitar. Ah, guitar. Electric guitar. Yeah, really good. Nice work. Okay, guys, continue practice each other. Talk about your job, but in English, talk about whatever you want, but in English, right? Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Okay. Okay. Terrible experience with. Okay, hello. Did you finish? Hello. Nope. Maybe. Teacher, I have I have a question. Yeah, tell me. Eh, con, para decir yo tuve que esperar es I had to wait. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Okay. Ah, ah, ya me acordé. La otra. Yeah, tell me. <laughs> Eh, quiero ver, él no podía ayudarme, sería he couldn't help me. Yeah, sure. Okay. Really? Good job. Yes. Okay. ¿Quién, ¿Quién empieza? No, si quiere yo comienzo. Okay. Uh, I had a problem with my PC. The screen was in color black. And I called a support line and they told me to restart the PC. I didn't, but I didn't fix the problem. I waited around 40, 40 minutes in line and the agent, and the agent didn't resolve the problem. And, say, and I say him, I want to talk with your supervisor. And he hung up the phone. It's a was terrible experience with this company and your support. Really good, nice. Good job, Miguel Angel. Everything is okay. Okay, somebody else? Yo. Go ahead. Yes. Mary. Okay. I had a problem with the internet service and I called to customer service. Yep. Um, the agent was very kind, but when I explained my problem, he had to wait around 15 minutes. After this time, the agent said me that he couldn't help me with my problem. Also, he said that I had to wait five days for change the router. No, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's true history. Okay, it's a true history based on a real history, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, nice. Really good job, uh, Mary. That's nice, amazing. I really like it. Uh, when you say uh, the the boy set me right, you can say uh, the guys or the boys or he told me told me. Yep. Okay. Okay, but but the rest 
Mary, it's excellent. I like it. Okay, uh, Jose Angel, are you ready? Uh, yes, uh, solo si me comparte la, la oh, pantalla. Me. Okay. Okay. Ahorita, 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 profe, permitime. Ahí está. Lo siento, lo siento. Ok, ahí está. Ok, go ahead. I have a, pro a problem with my PC. The screen was in color black, and I called a, a support line, and they told me to restart the PC. I did it, but it did fix the problem. It was a wrong for 40 minutes in night, and the agent did resolve the problem and say him I want to talk talk with your supervisor and is hung to the phone. It was a terrible experience with this company and your support. Okay, really nice. Thank you. Okay, guys, that's amazing. Uh, thank you, Jose Angel, really good job. Uh, Mary, uh, let me see. Uh, give me a minute. Okay, uh, Mary, in the case of, I think we lost the signal there. It was all correct, only that we can also say, someone told me. If it's a man, he told me. Told me. Let me hear it. Eh, y se va a comprender mejor, right? Pero todo okay. este teléfono, I really like okay. it. Okay. Thank you. And you're welcome. Okay, uh, guys, I see, you, I see you in a minute. You can continue talking about your work, uh, your vacation, right? I don't know what, but in English. <laughs> okay. See you in a minute. Okay. Oh. Ah, chivo, lo reservamos y todo. <laughs> Ya ah, cuando llegamos a, al aeropuerto nos dijeron que ya todos los vuelos estaban vendidos, pero miren, nosotros hicimos la reservación, llevábamos el ticket, el checklist y nada. ¿Really? <laughs> ok. Ok, nice. Eh, that, that's part of the conversation, right? <laughs> Esos son los comerciales. Oh. Yes, ¿Qué okay. apareció? <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Uh, who, want, who are going to start? Me. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Es una conversación todos vamos a hablar. Okay, okay. Very good. Much better, right? Hi, I would like to know how was your experience in our hotel? I had, I had about experience because there was a water lake in the room and it was an agent. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. We are going to check your case and we are going to reward you soon. Uh, my experience using Booking.com is was very terrible because I did my reservation two weeks before in the hostel for forty dollars. Reservation was a room singer. I pay very fast in my cell phone, but when I arrive to uh, arrive there, all the reservation for Booking was cancer oh god i'm so i'm so i'm sorry for that we had a problem with this page this is our cell phone to serve you like you like directly with yeah. us if you need our service in my case i like i like it. the game hostel the service are good the food very good, the pool excellent, and music. I would like to return again. Good to hear that. We are waiting for you. I hope to see you soon. Okay, okay. Really nice work. I like it. 
Now I understand why Wendy continue uh, giving us playing us. Everything about <laughs> that trip, right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> really good work. Okay, uh, thank you guys. Uh, continue talking about your work, uh, your vacation, but in English, right? Okay, I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> okay. Okay, did you? Okay, okay, really good. Hello, hello. Teacher. Hello, hello. Hello. Finish? Finish, yes. teacher. Okay, go ahead. Si gusta, inicie, Carlos. Bueno, I had a problem with the internet. I called the company that provides the service and, the, and they solved the problem. Okay. They did it. The, the, they visit me the next day and change my router. My internet is faster. The te technical called me to verify in if I have no more mark, no more problem, and I say not. I already can connect to class. Okay, really good, nice work. I like it. Okay, go ahead, Mark. Okay, I have problem with the internet. I called the company that improved the service and they, sol and they solved the problem. They visit me the next day and change my router. My internet is faster. The technical calling me to verify if I have no more problem and I say not. I already can connect to class. Okay, really good. Thank you, Marvin. Really nice work. It's uh, this uh, problem, you know, it's a little bit simple, but nice. I like it because you involve all the past simple tense. I like it. Thank you so much. Teacher, teacher. Yeah, yeah tell me. Uh, uh, pronoun, pronouns, uh, provide. 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 Yes. Okay, nice. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. We're going to. Uh, we're gonna go back to the main sessions. Okay, I see you there. Okay. Uh, hello, hello, guys. Uh, we are about to finish, but we're gonna go to the attendance list as the last point, right? And please, when you hear your name, just say present, right? Wendy Saraí Bonilla Ordoñas. Wendy, are you there? I hear teacher. Yeah, pretty good. Thank you, Wendy. Eh, Jose Ángel Santos Martínez. Jose Ángel Santos Martínez, are you there, Jose? Okay, Jose, on the chat, eh, nos está diciendo, acá está, pero tiene problemas con el microphone. Okay, Jose. Ahí se está conectando nuevamente. José, eh, let me see, José Ángel Santos Martínez. Ok, he's at present. Right? Present teacher, sorry. Okay. José Ángel. Uh, I love my cell phone. Yeah, don't worry, really good. <laughs> eh, Rodrigo Alexander Maravilla. Present teacher. Very good, Rodrigo. And Daisy Elizabeth Recino Alvarez. Present teacher. Very good, Daisy. Thank you so much. Marvin Ernesto Alfaro Campos. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Nice. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. I don't know if you have a questions about this class. Questions? No question, right? Everything is clearer, like uh, cola champagne, coffee. And or chatter, right? <laughs> that's good. Okay, uh, that's it for today's class. Unfortunately, it's over, but I hope to see you tomorrow. And please work on the platform, the homeworks, and the passion box. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Thank you, sir. Okay, <laughs> don't go to Netflix, right?
then go to free fire go to your bed and see you tomorrow yeah.